if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good guys, morning to each and every one of you. How are you this morning? It's another day that the Lord has blessed us, kept us, and never left us. So good guys, morning to each and every one of you. So glad for you to join me this morning for another good guys moment, morning moment. It's another day the Lord has made, and we will, we shall. Come on. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Good God's morning to each and every one of you. Good God's morning, Minister Ford. Good morning, Brother Bell. Good morning, Kenita. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, good morning, Kim. What's up? Good God's morning to you. Good morning, Chris Williams. Good God's morning again to each and every one of you. So glad of you to join us this morning for a scripture and prayer. Let's get our scripture for, for this morning. Our scripture this morning is going to be coming from... First Thessalonians, that's right. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter and the eleventh verse. First Thessalonians five and eleven. And it says, it says, therefore, encourage one another and build one another. Encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Let me read that again. It says, therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as you are doing. Just as you are doing. Let me read that one more time. Therefore, encourage one another mm -hmm, and build each other up just as, in fact, you are doing. So looking at this, beloved, the writer is saying, you know, um, some new converts, some new people who have come to the Lord that are that are part of the, the body of Christ. And he's giving instructions to them. He's giving instructions to them. Listen, this is what I need you to do. I need you to encourage one another and to build one another up. Huh? Encourage one another and build one another up. Beloved, in this season, in this season, we don't have time. Let me say it one more again. We do not have time to be putting anybody down. We do not have time to be worrying about the little simple things. We all got stuff in our closets. All got things that we need to get right before the Lord. And in this time and in this season, what God is asking us to do is to encourage one another and to build each other up. Scripture says that just as in fact are you are doing, a lot of us, we are, we are doing that. Um, our, our new um, baptizees um, from last Sunday, I'm, I'm so proud of you all. And for, for those who, who um, this past Sunday have um you know if officially uh made it known that that your desire to preach the word of god and your your um uh, your confirmation of the election of deacon um the office of deacon I, i'm super proud of you all and god has got something else in store for you he's going to continue to build you up he's going to continue to move you greater beloved and so our job my job it's to encourage one another. It's to build you up. That's it. I'm not here to look at your faults because we all got faults. I'm not here to point out your 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 uh your 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 sins. We all got sins. That is up to God. That God. You know. This is what I always like to tell people. You know when you done did something wrong. You know when you need to get it right with the Lord. You don't need me to point it out, huh? If you feel it in your
your spirit, guess what? Then you need to get it together. Praise God. You don't need me to do that. My job is just to encourage you in the faith, to build you up. Because what I found out, beloved, is that as, as I'm encouraging you, you're getting stronger. You're getting better. Where you once was weak, you become a little bit better. You, as I'm building you, you up in the word of God, you learn more. Hello? You learn more. Huh? You understand the word of God. God God begins to talk to you and gives you the revelation. He begins to give you what you need. You don't need nobody to constantly beating you up, constantly tearing you down. No, we are in this together. The devil does enough of that. We don't need none of the believers, each other, to tear each other down. No, we got to encourage one another. We gotta build each other up. We're all in this journey, running this race. Nobody's perfect but God. And so together, we'll stand, we'll encourage one another, we'll build each other up, we'll, 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 we'll give each other hope when it seems like hope is not there, when things have torn us down, world, and this world, and, and sometimes, sometimes people, hello, you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll build each other back up. Because that's what the word of God tells us to do. So, again, remember yesterday I said unbothered. Don't let people and they stuff bother you. Get yourself around some people. Remember I told you last Wednesday to squad up. When you become a, a, a new person in Christ, it's important that you get around other people, other believers who, who will support you and who will continue to build you and encourage you. Huh? Squad up. You got to get around some folk who who gonna be real. Hello, who who can say yes, yeah, sis, yeah, girl, bro? I made the same mistake, but guess what? I'm here and I'm continuously striving. I'm continuously growing. I'm continuously learning. I'm continuously moving. You can't get stuck where you are, but you got to keep on, keep on, keep on, keeping on. Squad up. Squad up. Courage one another. And let us build each other up. We got enough stuff that will tear us down. Sickness. The devil himself. So let us get to a place where we can encourage one another. And build each other up. Alright? You remember that song? Uh, Hezekiah Walker, I need you. You need me. We all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is his will. That every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. God, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your kindness, God. We thank you that you've allowed us to wake up this morning and start us on our way. We're in our right mind where we, we have clothes and we have food, oh God. We have heat, oh God. We have shelter. God, we ask you to bless those who don't have those things, oh God. God, we ask you to continue to keep us, and we thank you, O oh God, for the word this morning, for the opportunity to commune with you and our fellow brothers and sisters, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, that you said to us this morning to encourage one another, to build one another up. Mm, God, we thank you. Help us to be patient with each other. Help us to see ourselves in each other so that we'll be more careful not to judge. Ooh. <laughs> Not to judge, not to point a finger, but God, to pray, to be patient. Lord, we ask you just to continue to keep your arms around us. For we know that every day we're striving to be more like you. We haven't made it. We'll never make it until we get to the pearly gate. And so every day is a journey. Every day is a day of repentance, a day of building, a day of encouraging. And strengthening in the Lord. We thank you for it, God. We thank you for you. We thank you for you ever loving us when we didn't love ourselves. We thank you for you ever standing by us when we, we didn't we didn't want to stand by ourselves. When we we want to throw in the towel, God. We wanted to give up. We thank you, God, for you never giving up us on us. And we thank you, God, for surrounding us with people who have faith, who sees what you see in us who's there to remind us of your promises. God, we thank you for that. We give you glory and the honor today. Bless us now as we endeavor to do your will and not ours. 
We give you glory and the honor for it now in Jesus' name. And we give you glory. God, we continuously give you glory for you deserve our praise. You deserve the worship, God. We ask these blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Bless those who are watching this morning. Bless those that will watch this later, oh God. And bless those that will come on later to, to hear this word. We give you glory in Jesus' name. The people of God said amen and amen. All right, beloved. Good God's morning to each and every one of you. Again, good God's morning, Mr. Little. Hey, Shelly, what's up? Ulysses home. Good God's morning to you. First lady. Y'all say good morning, first lady. Praise God. Lady K. Cheryl Miller, God bless you. Kanita, hey Bobby. Good God's morning to each and every one of you. Michelle Satcher, God bless you. Good God's morning to each and every one of you. Victoria, amen. Do me a favor, say a prayer for Sister Maria this morning. Amen. If you don't mind, if you know the words of prayer, as my grandma used to say, say a prayer for Sister Maria this morning. Say a prayer, amen, for each and every one of you this morning. Good morning, it's Christina. <laughs> Good guys, I wanted to each and every one of you. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day, okay? And we'll see y'all tomorrow, the same time, the same place. Amen. <laughs> the same time, the same place for another Good Guys Morning moment. Good guys, I wanted to tell you, y'all have a blessed and beautiful day, okay? We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Good guys, I wanted to tell you. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.